today political consensus. And it is unique combination of equality and free market. It publicly funded in its same national core curriculum for all schools. And independent schools had equal opportunities to enter the market. It's very easy to set up a school. And the children, the parents decide. And they can decide whenever they like. If they don't like the school on a Monday, they can take the money away and go to another school. We are not allowed to pick and choose students. It's first come, first serve. We can never test one. We can never say, we'll take you instead of you. And we cannot charge additional fees. And then some people ask me, how the hell can you make money of that? And I say, well, anything the government does, you can, of course, get a better result at a 20% lower cost. <laughs> it's very easy. So this is then the freedom explosion. From less than 1% in 1991 to 11% in compulsory schools and 23% in upper secondary. In some parts of the Stockholm area, 50% goes to independent schools. One of five Swedish schools is an independent school, and 60% of independent schools are for profit companies. All political parties except the communists accept profits. I told that to my conservative friends in the UK, the only one that, because they are also haven't understood profits. The independent schools are outperforming public schools in results. And this is very important. If you see that you can have, in our grading system, 320 marks. And all the public schools have an average of 209, and all the independent schools, 229. It's substantially better. And if you bring out uh, 10 chain schools that are building up efficient back offices, our results are even higher. We are providing better educational results. And that's, of course, important to get the acceptance in Sweden. And a recent study just a few weeks ago from the public authorities in Sweden showed that the cost is about 20% lower cost for merit grade rating point in independent schools compared to public schools. We are getting much more education for each invested Swedish crowns. You see, at 2010, 324 crowns it cost in the public schools and 268 in independent schools. Those that believe that you cannot make it education more efficient are just wrong. And in all surveys of students, parents, and teachers, satisfaction, independent school performs better or much better. And when independent school have entered cities with public schools, it has increased the quality of the public schools. Competition works. That's the overall system. Let me then say a few words about Kunskapsskolans. Because we have, and the reason for the success of Kunskapsskolan is that we have, in a way, disrupted the system, the traditional educational system, and found a new way of combining modern technology with teacher participation. So our mission is to develop and operate outstanding schools where students, through personalized learning and clear goals, will stretch their boundaries and learn more than they thought possible. We are convinced, we know that anyone can do much more if they are given the right kind of chance and inspiration to do that. So we replace old structures of schools with modern techniques for coaching and empowering each individual student. You know, the, it's funny, the, to set the student in the center, that is not a tradition in educational policy. You don't look at each individual, but everyone knows that Persons learn in different ways. Some when they talk, some when they read, some when they write, some when they listen. And some know this much and some that much. You talk about classroom size. It's impossible if you have 20, 30, or 40 in a classroom, the teacher, or whoever good he or she is, will always lose a number of them on the top and the bottom with different learning skills. So we develop personal schemes instead for each one. We make sure that we have all the curriculum 
on the computer system, which means that our teachers spend at least 27 hours a week with their students. It's actually about 30 hours. And in Swedish schools, it's only 20. So we get much more teacher work with the students. They are not allowed to sit at home and prepare for their lectures because it's in the system. In private schools, sometimes teachers only spend about 10 hours a week with the students. When we looked in the UK system, we said, my God, we could start a private school system, charge about half the amount of money what it cost, and provide better education at a much more efficient way. So this is a typical school of us, fairly different from what it is in normal schools. And this has been made possible only because we have had competition. We opened our first school in 2000. Now we've got about 10,000 pupils and a staff about 800. And there you see our national grade, our average grade. It's close to 240, it's superior to all the averages. We have about the best results in Sweden. And in some way, I'm now after 10 years. You know, the first year I wasn't convinced what would happen. But now I know the fact that you put each individual student in focus and make sure that it gets into a system where they can do better. That is the, the reason for this.